In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use some different UI elements or user interface elements. I'm going to put some sliders up and then we'll use a monitor to keep track of uh, turtles in a certain condition and then put a plot too so we can see the condition changing over time. I'm also going to make a slider for the max number of ticks for the model to run. If you haven't been following along on the last video, we made a model. I'll put this in the description. I'll put the code in the description. It is a happiness score for turtles. If the turtles meet, they become happy for a random period of time plus a constant period of time. So we have these literal numbers in here. We want to make them variables. We want to make it adjustable. Same with the number of turtles on creation. Let's go over to our interface tab and add a slider. I guess we're also going to have to add our setup and go buttons. Let's do that button. And this is going to be the setup for the experiment. And there's our display name setup. And we'll get a go. So add a button. This will be the go command go. And we're going to make it go forever. There we go. Straighten that out a little bit. Cool. Now we hit our setup. We got 50 turtles, right? If you look on this tab right here, the code tab, 50 turtles, 50 turtles. There we go. And when we go, they move around, they move around really fast. Let's slow that down, slow that down even more. And some yellow turtles are happy. Red turtles are not happy because they haven't met anybody in a while. All right, let's go ahead and make some adjustments. Let's turn this go button off and let's make a slider for the initial number of turtles on setup. I'm going to right click slider and we have to give it a name that makes sense. How about num of turtles? All right. And then we'll give it a minimum of, let's say 10 turtles because they got to meet, right? And then a maximum of a hundred. That's pretty good. And then an increment maybe five or whatever you want. One will work. There we go. Number of turtles. What do we do with that number? So we have it set at 50. Let's go to the code tab and we can use the variable. I have trouble with my mouse there. We could use the variable just like we defined it in that slider. So I'll say num of turtles. This has to be spelled the same as this, right? I know that's kind of small, but they're spelled the same number of turtles. Now, when we go ahead and change the number of turtles and we hit our setup, boom, we got more turtles, right? We go all the way down to 10, we got less turtles. That's pretty handy. So when these turtles collide, they become happy and they change color. Let's go over to the code, take a look. Here is our happiness property. The happiness is actually reduced every time we go around a loop by one. And when we do an on touch and two turtles touch, we reset the happiness score for any turtles that are in that same location based on this random number, right? Five. So between zero and four ticks plus two ticks. So all turtles are guaranteed to be happy at least two ticks. I want these numbers to be adjustable. Let's go back to our interface and I'm going to right click. I'm going to hit another slider. This slider is going to be, how about happy dash rand. And I will make this a minimum of five and I'll make this a maximum of a hundred. I'll just keep it like that. Increment's good at one. I'm going to start this out at five. The value, the start value is going to be five. Cool. Let's move this a little bit. Now we have to put our happy Rand in the code. All right, here we go. There's our five. Let's say happy dash Rand. We need to have the constant we want to be able to adjust that. Let's go back and make another slider. And I'll just do a right click slider. This is going to be happy dash 
const. How about that? We'll go between 0 and 100. I'm going to set the default to just like our original model. Hit OK. Let's go ahead and straighten this out a little bit. Oops, I moved it to 3. There we go. How about ah, undo it. Two, two, there we go. All right, so now when we do our setup, we can change how many turtles, let's make it a lot of turtles. Boom, they can run around, become happy. This one is only going to affect the model on setup because we only use number of turtles in setup, right? But this one here, the happy rand and happy constant is in the go procedure. So if we start changing this, Watch how many turtles start becoming yellow. And we can speed it up a little bit. Eh, maybe a little bit more. There we go. And if we want to guarantee everybody's happy, just crank that up. Pretty soon, everybody's going to be happy. All right, now that's great. We don't quite have everybody happy. Let's say we want to know exactly how many turtles are happy when our model's running. Let's turn this off. What we need is a monitor. Let's right click, put a monitor. There we go. And the monitor is going to report whatever we put in here. Let's do, how about um, count turtles with happiness greater than zero. Ooh, I missed my zero. Zero. And we give it a display name, right? Because that's kind of long down here. Display name, I'm going to say Happy Turtles. Okay, look at that. We got 86 Happy Turtles. So it starts working right away. Cool. But maybe now we want to know how many turtles are happy over time. Let's do a plot for that. Let's do a right click and we'll go plot. There we go. We might have to move a lot of these up. Hold on, I'm going to fill out my plot, and I'm going to call the plot Happy Turtles. Right, so we're going to report the same thing. This is going to be over time. I'm going to put time here in the X, and I'm not going to change the X min and the X max. I'm going to put Happy Turtles on the Y. I'll keep that auto scale. I'm not going to change the pen color, but I am going to change this. It says plot count turtles. Well, uh, just like just like with the monitor, with happiness greater than zero. Cool. Okay. Can we fit that? Yeah, we can fit that. Cool. I'm going to move my monitor up a little bit. We'll hit our setup. This is kind of high. I'll move that down. Maybe move that to like 50. Move our constant down. How about 25? That's pretty good. Hit the setup. Let's it go. Now we're in business, right? Now we can run this really fast and we're going to know how many turtles were happy at any given point in time. We can try different metrics to see what works out population reduces let's hope that they stay happy longer we're going to we might need those numbers so i've been running this for a while taking a look at the plot i think you know what we should have a maximum number of ticks the model will run let's go ahead and hit go again so it turns it off and i'll make another slider there we go and then here i'm going to say max ticks and we can go up to, I don't know, maybe 500, but we'll start out a minimum of 100, right? And then maybe the increment, uh, maybe 20. That sounds good. Let's make this 100 for the initial value. That should work. Hit OK. Oh, we hit the vertical. That's all right. Let's change it. Right click, edit, uncheck vertical. There you go, now you know how to make something vertical. So max ticks. Let's go to our code tab, in the go. We'll 
we'll just put an if statement right at the top of the go procedure say if ticks is greater than how about greater than or equal to max ticks stop all right looking good looking good We've got our max ticks here interface max ticks there let's see if it stops at 100 set up go maybe make it go a little faster boom 100 so that was pretty quick let's do it again set up go 100 nice 